Hi everyone, do you want to get to know how to build the full stack web applications with the Vive coding entirely and with the Replit? In this video, I'm going to show you how and I'm showing right away while doing it with an application, with a specific scenario of an application for career coaching. By the way, I'm Roberto Coscia, I'm a queue engineer. I have six years experience of on, in the IT sector and an AI enthusiast. So let's go uh, into it. Uh, so as you can see here, we are working with Replit. Replit is an AI coding uh, agent. You generally would have used Lovable, Bold.new and other AI code generators. Maybe you know Cursor, which is very famous. And I've also been talking in the, in, the, in this channel about it. Replit is uh, another tool that is totally run uh, on the cloud. And uh, to be honest, personally, is one of the tools I like most because it, it interfaces automatically with some cloud services. It's independent, the code is stored in the cloud, and you can access it very easily. And I think it's very, very friendly for who does know how to code, who is not uh, as technical as the developers. Recently, also, they introduced uh, the version 2 of the agent, which apparently is smarter, more autonomous, and uh, it can also design the app in preview. It's basically, this is fantastic, you can design the app in, uh, in, in preview. There are a lot of functionality they build that you can check, but in general, it it became a very good competitor of the current app you really see out there, like both that new and the lovable. Uh, it also uses MPC, MCP servers. Uh, it integrates with database. It's very friendly in integrating with other services. And uh, I think uh, in general is a very good uh, uh, alternative to the others out there uh, without having to store your code into your PC and uh, being able to run the application very fast uh, automatically with, uh, with autonomous agents. So let's go back to the example. I built an application which allow people to, based on their interest, if they need career consultation, career, career coaching, or uh, business orientation, to use the proper services to create some task that can be some task on uh, to achieve the goal toward what they want to reach. And the AI can advise you if the tasks you inserted are correct and advise you alternatives. So this is something, one of the, of what can be built by this app, or you could use an AI coach to chat with it based on the, if you need, for example, some guidance in career, in some career guidance, business strategy, solo, solo preneur success or leadership development goals. You can chat and it, it, it can give you guidance or you can even chat by voice, having a voice Welcome call. to your AI. As you can see now. I'm here to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches and professional development. As you can see now, it is working. Day. I probably is Welcome busy. to your AI career guidance coach. I'm here to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches and professional development. How can I assist you today? Can you help me with uh, becoming an AI engineer? First of all, you need to click to the microphone. How can I become an AI engineer? So now he's listening and uh, hopefully he's going to give me a response. How can I become an AI engineer? Hello, how can I become an AI engineer? You can see that the, the, the voice is working, but it's not listening. It's something I have to fix. Let's write it. The voice call functionality is not working as expected when clicking to the microphone is not listening what i am saying to the microphone by the way one option could be that i'm using the microsoft microphone for making this video and that's why it's not checking the right microphone that could be an option i will let you know about that by the way but to double check, let's ask to fix this problem. It is the Microsoft microphone and not responding accordingly. Like a voice call mode would do. We can see how basically we can simply chat with the Replit to hopefully give give a response. You can see that I connected OpenAI to as a, and the LLM 
within with which it can actually give the responses. But to show that there is the functionality to chat with the coach, so by writing, or also to have a call with it. That's interesting, basically like a consultant AI. Welcome to your AI career guidance coach. I'm here okay. to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches, and professional development. How can I assist you today? Can you hear me? Let me try to see if it's here without pressing the button. So it's, it feels like I have to press the button. Welcome to your AI career guidance coach. I'm here to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches, and professional development. Hello, can you hear me? It is still didn't hear me. I think it's fixing on the go. By the way, let's make it work. It takes time to, to fix it. But let's move forward further to say that you can use the AI functionality. You can read the, there are some articles toward team of career coaching and some se the setting page is not actually working. Help and support probably because it's building it. You can create new assessment. You see that the AI created some uh, for me and some were mocked. You can click on it. Which task can I do? The more solving complex problem independently. Let's see what it does now. Let's submit. Please select an answer. Yes, submit. It is not working 100%, but you get the point. There is the possibility to edit the profile, notification. This is to show that what can be done with the web coding. I'm going to continue to uh, fix, build further functionality and get back to you with the purpose to show you what can be done by Replit. And uh, is, it will be your own judgment to see how useful and how good alternative it is to cursor. By the way, you Ask, can schedule a coaching session. Book you, your next one on one coaching session to review your progress and set new goals. So this is a see, high priority task that will take approximately 45 minutes. You see, you, you can also read about the actions that you have to take and have an AI a consultation about it. To analyze, you can analyze the task and you can see that this task is clear, specific and actionable as a client booking a one-to-one -one session. You can advise it from, you can apply. Probably is something that needs to be improved, but you can use AI to analyze each task you insert. And the idea is that you save the, the, the task you complete. When you complete the task, this data is saved and the AI can reason giving you responses based on data that remain saved in the database. So that could help you in the long run in making decisions based on data that is saved. Probably feature feature could be to uh, be able to delete specific memory data that you don't want anymore to be reasoned with in the future. By the way, it seems it fixed some of the things that I asked. Let's have a look. The AI coach, the voice call. Welcome if to your AI coach. Hello. I'm here to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches, and okay. professional development. Let's see if I can interrupt it today. I, I don't think Welcome I can. to your AI career guidance coach. Um, I'm here I... to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches, and professional development. It, 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 it How can I assist you today? Can you help me with the business development? It's not listening. Let's click here. Can you help me with business development? It didn't listen. Let's try to click here. Can you help me with the business development? Can you hear me? First of all, can you hear me? It's not working. Your own judgment, but uh, you can see that you need to go back and forth. Probably you need to write a good prompt to make the rapid understanding correctly about uh, what uh, to fix, how to fix exactly this uh, specific problem. I'll try to do that. So I asked a few questions of things that should be fixed, some related to voice mode, some related to the task that that they give, they have some errors. Generally speak, welcome to your AI. It's fixing it, probably will interrupt while it's fixing it. But in the meantime, I want to show you some, some features. Welcome to your AI career. Rapid. I'm here to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches, and professional Hello. development. How can I assist? Let's see if, Just uh, start talking to begin our conversation. Uh, I'm trying to talk. I think it's uh, doing some work, so it's not it's not going to work initially. By the way, you can change the team of how you look. Welcome to your AI. You can check the dev tool, so you can see the console. You can see 
also the elements, the network, the resources. You can basically correct. Welcome to your AI career. I'm here to help you get guidance on career transitions. Welcome to your AI. I'm here to help you with get guidance on career errors. transitions, job searches, and professional development. Wise How can I assist you today? Just start talking to begin our conversation. Hello? I'm talking? No, it's not reliable yet. You can also open in the browser to, to look at the, the web application in a bigger screen. You can also choose the screen you, you want to see the application. You have also a panel on the left where you can choose between the agent, the assistant, having a chat a specific uh, we can have it uh, give it a try later by the way here you can see that there is the v2 version the agent v2 here i'm not sure if it should appear as v2 if it's already implemented or is something that uh, should be that should be implemented in in the next future the prog you can see how, the progress of how is building the application the console you the web view the deployments the type of deployment you can choose the all tools with the authentication, database, object storage, replit key value, store, the chart, the thread, the assistant, basically all, a lot of functionality, dependencies. You can click and see all the dependencies of the app that have been built. You can see the secret to see and to understand if you store data that you don't want to show with others. The workflows, agent workflows. Welcome to your AI career. The extension store. You can see that there, this is the store of uh, Replit. Maybe generator, you can see if there is the MCP store here, a CV the editor. I, it feels, it, it seems like there isn't actually, but definitely something that every, they are, they are integrating every, every AI assistant. So I'm sure, I'm sure it will be. By the way, let's go back to the application and see if they completed. Seems like they completed. The next actions I asked to be not inserted by default. So it's something to fix in future. Let's see about the voice AI. Welcome to your AI. If that works. Uh, it doesn't seem working, by the way. What I'll do, I'll copy the error into the into here. Also copy the console and ask to fix this errors. And uh, let's uh, make it do its work. I should have, I think I did already insert this. As you can see, I'm using the core version. So the paid, the one, the, the version, the paid version, you can see here that you can uh, perform the deployment. You, you can add a database. You can do a lot of things within uh, Repit. So let's give another go to the voice chat. Welcome to your AI. I see already an error that something is not working. The recording seems going, but uh, I don't see the voice showing here. For some reason, it's not working. So what we will do? is to copy the error and hopefully it will understand it. You can see here, if you click uh, this button, you, you can see the files of the project that, that, that has built. You can see the home of the application. By the way, another interesting thing I noticed in Replit is the possibility to click element selector and basically select an element and to basically ask a question about that element. Maybe you want to make a change that regards specifically that element. That I think is something very, very cool that you can do with Replit. So I've been, I've been giving some prompts uh, here and there to fix the problem of the AI voice mode, obviously just with the chat. And I'm not getting responses. I'm getting some errors, I continue to go on. But uh, the point here anyway to uh, what we can uh, get as a conclusion here is that uh, one, uh, uh, to make uh, work by coding the best way possible, you can't just uh, simply uh, chat and expect to, to immediately respond and fix your problems. It Welcome to your AI career. To I'm here to help you with get guidance on career transitions, job searches, so and professional stop, development. Uh, Welcome to your AI. Uh, I'm here to help you with get guidance okay, on career transitions, to, job searches, and professional development. To fix, and that's why talking. How can I assist you today? Just start by, talking to begin our conversation. By the way, it would be advisable to stop, write correct prompts, and then give it the best prompts you can. Maybe also use ChatGPT to improve your prompt. And uh, that's the way you could get more likely to, to get better responses from the AI. It's not clear to me which LLM is using for the agent in the paid version, but what I can say that when I go to the assistant bit, you have close 3.5 sonnet. So basically you don't have even the 3.7, which is, is the smartest 
one. But you can see that there is V2, v probably is referring to the version 2, which is the new update of uh, Replit. In addition to answer requests, your assistant will write code, propose five Welcome changes, to your AI and shell commands, which... and use advanced code. I'm here to help you get seven. guidance on career transitions, job search. Welcome so to your AI. We will use this to uh, to, to give another prompt, uh, another possibility to fix the issue that I've been having on the voice mode. So let's first see if uh, the previous uh, prompt helped to fix the problem. Once it completed the agent work, it completed from the error I got before to fix that issue with the voice mode. Let's see if that worked, first of all. Welcome to your AI. Hello, can you hear me? Welcome to your AI career guidance coach. Can you hear me? Let's see if now it's recording and uh, writing it down. No, it's not. Let's see the console. Yes, we see still an error, the same error, actually. We can copy that error. We can't click anymore. We can copy that error. Let's go to the assistant, V2, with advanced, the advanced version. And uh, let's copy that. So we have copy the prompt. We copied the chart. It's only giving me the speech error. Add file context. Let's allow automatically to search the context. Let's say check the console and fix the error in the voice call coach to work correctly for its purpose. So let's see if now the assistant works better than agent. So what do you think, guys? Is it better Replit or Cursor? At this point, I would say that it has its pros, but Cursor probably still the king. By the way, let me know in the comment. I wanted to give you a taste of Replit. Let me know if myself I could write better prompt that could fix this error. And if this video was useful, please consider to subscribe the channel and, and like the video. And see you in the next one. Another thing I wanted to add is that uh, uh, if you go to the integration, you can uh, in here tool and, and then click to integrations. You can, the good uh, positive thing of Replit is that you can uh, integrate very easily with the uh, Google AI. You can go to the Google AI studio, create an API key and add it. Basically you can integrate with Gemini for free. You can uh, integrate with OpenAI. You can integrate with uh, any other AI. Uh, you can integrate also with uh, Google Sheets. If you want to them to communicate with this, with Slack, Discord, Stripe, many other services, you can also integrate with the database, which is fully managed till 10 gigabyte and uh, with objects, storage and the Replit uh, key value store, free, easy to use, suitable for unstructured data, caching, session management, fast lookups and uh, flexible data models. So pretty much integrated. You can see what is connected to this project and external. You can connect with Hub, HubSpot and with authentication just very easily. This is something to consider. To consider. Probably I'm, I see it is not currently connected with MCP servers, but I believe that will be done probably soon. It's just a matter of catching up. What is the cons? I could see that it, I was expecting to see Cloud 3.7 and so the connection with that. I see that it's still using Cloud 3.5. Probably if you use a, a a plan which you pay more, it might be available there, but it's not the case here. But it's something I, think, I thought it was important to add to the, to the conversation. And that's it. If I think that's it from today, see you in the next video. I'm just giving you an update. Actually, after going a little bit further on into the debugging session, of, I actually realized that the app was built correctly, but it was the microphone selected wrongly. That's why it's not, it was not hearing my voice and it was giving errors. So now, as you can see, it's actually working. It can be improved, but in favor of Rapid, it built an app that actually works, which is great. As you can see now, if I, if I talk, uh, it is uh, listening what I'm saying. And uh, let's say that I want to ask uh, how to change career from nursing to IT sector. Let's say what it is. You can also modify. Here we go. Transitioning from nursing to the IT sector is a significant change, but it's definitely achievable with the right strategy. It uh, stops. You should listen. You should uh, talk through the whole response. It doesn't. Probably something to fix, but 
<laughs> just to let you know that it works and that let me know if uh, you wish me to continue this application by the way if you like the video consider to subscribe comment and uh, see you in the next video